Hey Nelson, Steve from Sewing Gold. So I installed mine here and you see what I did here. I took the, the screws out and then I moved the whole entire uh, binder backwards. So um, instead of having it attached to the screw up there, I put the two screws in here. I could probably take one out and just use one, but it might move a little bit. So I've got two in there. It is very close to the foot. Um, so I think putting in that little split toe zipper foot that you put in or getting you a binder foot might be better. Um, right now, like I said, it's very close. It's just right on there, okay? So I'm gonna change over to the split toe and see if it's gonna be better. Um, but as you can see, if you move those two, you're gonna get it right in position. All right, I'm gonna pause this for a second and then change that foot. All right, Nelson, if you could see this one, it's a lot better now. So I can maneuver it side to side if I want. I could take and loosen this piece here, move the uh, binder over to get it nice and close to the foot. And also it's not touching the foot. I can't really get in there because of my phone. Um, but it's not, it's, it's farther away. It's probably about an eighth of an inch away from the foot. So if I raise the foot, I'll show you. It's not touching the binder at all, okay? So if you can see I have that installed, you might also want to maybe get um, another foot, probably because this foot is so huge, um, a standard foot might be better, especially if you're using this type of feed dog with this foot. Since this foot is so thin, you might want to use the like a standard foot, sort of like this foot here. Sorry. Um, this foot is not as, this is just a standard 8,700 foot, and this is your 8,700 H foot, so it's still wider. Uh, but this foot at least will be touching the feed dogs. Uh, you could try it like that. Just set it up just like I have it um, and let me know how it works. Have a good one.